So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you so how to make an amodus burned area mapping for forest fire application using earth engine so let's get started so now to perform our modus uh, burned area mapping using uh, our modus data so let us first import our modus burn data into earth engine so to import our uh, modus burn data into earth engine we define the parameter called define a variable called dataset equals to w dot image collection modus uh, modus 006 mcd 64a1 so this specific code will import our uh, modus burned uh, burnt area data into earth engine so to filter uh, with the relevant time period we are using dot filter w dot filter dot date so we are specifying our relevant time period for our for our uh, modus burned area burned area mapping for our forest fire application so we are choosing from 2017 january 1 to 2017 december 31st so in uh, modus data we have several other data so in order to acquire only the burn data that is our uh, the burned area data we require only the this particular data that is called burn date so for that we defined a variable called burned area equals to dot data set dot select burn date so in order to acquire only the burn data we use specifically we are using this uh, name called the burn date so because in modus image there is a several other layers available so we are specifying only this particular layer data so next is we have to define a visualization parameter for our uh, burned area mapping so to define a visualization parameter we are using a variable called burn area visualization that is this equals to we are setting a with uh, setting a minimum value of around 30 and the maximum value of 341 and we are choosing our color palettes for our layers to show its different uh, the hotness so that is uh, each of this color uh, the, each color represents the different levels of a uh, burned area suppose this particular number represents the highest burned area and this particular color represents the lowest burned area so now let me show you this uh, what is this color means so each each of this code has its own specific color so let me show you that so now we can able to view that this is a site called color brewer 2.0 so where we can able to so let me choose this color so this particular color has this specific code which represents this particular color code that is red and similarly let me choose another set of colors so this blue color will be represented by this particular set of codes that is 43A to CA and similarly let me choose a black color the black color is represented by this particular code 63 63 63 so similarly we are used for a different color to indicate a different burned area that is highest level is indicated in this color and the lowest is indicated in this color so for that we define the palettes and suppose if you want to add this layer so if you want to add this layer and uh, add and center this layer for that I'm using to center this layer define map dot center object with a specific uh, latitude and longitude with a zoom level of 2 and similarly to add this layer map dot add layer burned area that refers to this variable so this particular variable the burned area the data the layer that is uh, we have selected from the modus image and next we are choosing our visualization parameter burned area visualization parameter refers to this particular variable and output the layer name as burned area 2017 so this particular uh, the burn data that is available for a global level so it is available in the global level so now let us run this code go to the option called run script and click run script so layers are being loaded here let us visualize our uh, mode is burned area so this particular data is available for entire world you can see the all the burned areas which is indicated in this color so now let me uh, change the map to satellite mode So you are visualizing our modus burned area derived map for 
uh, for our forest fire application. So these are the different spots where the forest fire, that is our burned area, is indicated using our uh, modus image. So let me uh, zoom in to Africa. So you can able to see there is a lot of fire, forest fire activities being taken place in uh, this particular time, that is from 2017 to January to 2017 December. So you can clearly able to view. Let me uh, close this. So you can clearly able to view that there is a lot of forest fire has been uh, had taken place uh, in Zambia and uh, Congo and uh, in Central African Republic and Sudan, Sudan areas. And similarly, let me uh, visualize here. So this is India. So you can uh, visualize there's a lot of uh, forest fire that has uh, happened in 2017 from January to uh, December in uh, Punjab. You can uh, clearly view that. And also in parts of uh, Uttar Pradesh and uh, smaller areas in uh, Madhya Pradesh. So when uh, for we also able to see in uh, Chhattisgarh, we can observe several uh, burned areas, that is uh, forest fire applications, that is forest uh, burned areas. So uh, you can able to observe several burned areas in uh, Chhattisgarh. And also there is few part in uh, South India, where near Kadapa and Tirupati, we can observe several uh, forest fire areas. But as a minor one, So you can able to clearly view that in the parts of Brazil, we have our several forest burned areas and also in Bolivia towards north, there is a several uh, forest burned areas. And let us check out in our United States. So in United States, we have uh, certain areas of forest burned areas. So, so in Nevada, we have a uh, few part of Nevada and uh, and California, we have a few parts in California, the burned areas. So this is uh, Canada. So in this video, I have shown you how to uh, perform the modus burned area uh, to uh, for forest fire application for global level. So I have shown you how to import our modus burned area data into Earth Engine and how to set a visualization parameter for our burned area for uh, forest fire applications and how to add and center of a layer. So this is a global level data that is uh, available uh, that can be accessed using our Google Earth Engine. So we have specifically used our modus image to import our burn date data to uh, for our forest fire applications and we performed our burned area using Earth Engine. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.